they told me I need to talk for a little while so they can get some blood back in your faces. We're talking about tubes today, a lot of folks today. A couple of quick reminders for you. First thing, and I'm sure you saw it as you came in, out in the lobby, I believe, tickets for the Color Guard Spring Show are on sale. And I think we talked about it on Saturday night, those of you that were there. It's going to be just an amazing show, all about superheroes, which would be pretty cool. They've been practicing a bunch. It's been cool to watch some of those rehearsals as they're working on that. So you can check that out. If Mrs. Brown is out there, and she can take care of all of your questions that have to do with that. The other thing, and I know those of you that are wearing tuxes and black dresses are not thrilled about this, but auditions start on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, those of you that just hit your faces, I can still see you. It's okay. I don't know yeah. So, just a friendly reminder, your horn might want to go home on Friday. Just, just thinking about it. Maybe do that. Um, I do it a lot, and I'm going to do it again. I need to brag on these guys that are sitting up here on the stage. I am so fortunate and so blessed to be able to stand in front of these 65, 6, however many young musicians. They are just amazing. One of the coolest things this year is when we were at the UIL Concert Sight Reading Contest, we were able to warm up on stage, which was pretty cool. So we're going through all of our normal warm-up routine and all those kind of things, and we're playing through, and I wanted to make sure we stopped all of our warm-up before the judges got in there. I didn't want to give anything away, good or bad, so just, just kind of looking. And I turned around and looked behind me, and there were a handful of people in there. I was like, okay, cool, no big deal, we'll keep going. Turned around, there's a few more people in there. Turned around, there's a few more people in there. I was like, okay, well, maybe Mr. Brown finished sight during the symphonic band, and they came in a little bit early. No big deal. Turned around, they don't have a recognizing those people. I don't know who that is. It turned out that there were probably about 40 to 50 some odd people, and I have no idea who they were, that showed up just to hear these kids perform at the UIL Concert and Sight Reading Contest, which is a huge testament to how well they play, in spite of the guys standing up there waiting to stick. But these guys are just amazing. Can you help me recognize them? <laughs> amazing musical ensembles like these guys don't just happen. And lots of times, those of us that work here, we get to, I guess, take a lot of the credit because we're at the, the upper levels. But, and I think you guys all know how amazing our Willowood Junior High Band program is. The performances that you've heard tonight, going to the state marching contest, all those kind of things, none of that would be anywhere close to possible without Jim Shaw and Edgar Hyman. I know they're not here. But... And we're also very fortunate to have just an incredible private lesson staff. Most of them are either teaching lessons tonight or playing gigs or whatever. But the guy that's always here is still here working the stage crew backstage. One more time, a hand for Mr. Wes Hagelin, please. <laughs> and then a huge thank you to all of the parents, the band booster board who put on just a incredible banquet on Saturday night, and all the parents that have helped, whether it's slinging nachos or pushing that marimba 12 times through the mud or whatever you had to do. A huge thank you to all of you for everything that you do, supporting us throughout the, throughout the years. Excuse me, students, let's thank all the parents for all of that. <laughs> Alright, I think I've stalled long enough. We have one more tune that the Wind Symphony is going to play for you. It's entitled Ride. And Samuel Hazo, one of his mentors, was a guy named Dr. Jack Stamp who is one of the, I guess, godfathers of Texas bands. And they were kind of hanging out together, I believe, at the University of North Texas. And Samuel said to him, hey, you know, let's go back to your house and we'll change, then we'll go out to eat. Jack said, okay, no big deal, follow me. And then they took off through this just insanely crazy ride, driving really, really fast, and Sam just couldn't keep up with him. So he got to his house and decided, you know what? I think I'm going to write a piece about that. <laughs> so that's what this is. This is Samuel Arquezo's ride. <laughs> 